let us look at this question which is uh, equation on complex numbers okay the question is sketch uh, the imaginary of 2z plus 1 over 4z minus 4 is less than 1 so this im is stands for the short form of imaginary so uh, imaginary now in a complex number suppose z is a complex number any complex number has two parts one is called the real part and the other is the imaginary part so you can if z is a complex number we can let z is equal to x plus y i okay so this is important but first we'll simplify this okay and uh, this uh, what is inside the bracket so I can say okay we'll look at the inequality later on later on okay so uh, let us write 2z plus 1 over 4z minus 4 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute zs x plus y r so this will become 2x plus 2y i plus 1 over 4x plus 4y i uh, oh sorry this is 4 4 z minus z it's not z minus 4 okay so 4x plus 4y i minus 4 okay so this simplifies to let me write the imaginary and the real part together separately sorry so this is 2x plus 1 that's the real part plus 2yi over 4x minus 4 plus 4yi okay so this simplifies to 2x plus 1 plus 2yi over I'm going to factor out the 4, so if you factor out the 4, that is x minus 1 plus yi. Now this is nothing but 1 quarter, so this is same as 0.25 times, I'll put this in the bracket, 2x plus 1 plus 2yi over the denominator, which is... Uh, this is x minus 1 plus y i now at this stage after this you can't do anything further so this is the last step or you can't go any further until you do something now when you have this form to rationalize the denominator what we do is you multiply by the conjugate of this complex number so the conjugate of x minus 1 plus y i i'll use a different color for that would be the conjugate means the opposite so uh, this is the conjugate of this would be x minus 1 instead of plus you'd write minus y i and as you're multiplying the numerator you do the same thing to the denominator so basically I haven't done anything because this is nothing but 1 so let me use a different color from here so this becomes 0 0.25 times I'm going to expand with this okay so this is 2x plus 1 times x minus 1 this is simple expansion uh, plus 2yi plus 2y you can expand in different ways x minus 1 then I'm expanding with 2x plus 1 times uh, negative y i negative or I'll put a minus here or I can change the sign to minus so this is minus y i and 2 y i times 2 y i I'll write for the sake minus 2 y squared i squared the whole thing over the denominator so when you expand this this is difference of 2 squared so this is x minus 1 squared minus y squared i squared okay now in complex numbers you should know that i squared is negative 1 because by definition i is square root of negative 1 
So in place of i squared, I can put negative 1. So this will become 0 0.25 times. Uh, I'm not expanding this because uh, we are interested in the imaginary part. Okay, so this is so from this step I'll write. So the imaginary part or the imaginary of uh, z minus 2z plus 1, I can say 2z plus 1 over, now this is a very neat step which you need to understand logically. Now this, we are only interested in the imaginary part of this complex number. So when we expand this, let me draw, say this is, this will end up as a real part. This is also a real part because this is plus 2y squared and this whatever that is that's also a real part but we are, to, we are interested in only the imaginary part so we are only looking at the the part which will end up as imaginary so using the same color I can I'm going to expand this so that is 2 x y i minus 2y i now expanding with this is mi minus 2 x y i and again minus y i over the denominator okay so we're talking only about the real part imaginary part so this is nothing but x minus 1 squared plus y squared okay I hope you understand because we are dealing with only the imaginary part so this and this gets cancelled so let me use a different color I can cancel this and this because this is 2xyi and this is minus 2xyi so bringing back my color so imaginary part of 2z plus 1 over 4z minus 4 this point point uh, 25 is same as a quarter so this is quarter times minus 3yi over x minus 1 squared plus y squared now this is less than equal to 1 that's what it says isn't it so this is less than equal to 1 so I can say this is less than if this is less than 1 and if this is equal to this I can say this is less than 1 so as now this i only denotes the i is the notation which tells you that it's the imaginary part in the next step I can remove this uh, i and therefore I can say therefore uh, minus 3 quarter minus 3 quarter y is less than x minus 1 squared plus y squared so the denominator I'm multiplying or you can understand cross multiplying so I'm multiplying both sides by this denominator so this denominator goes here so this becomes and if I add both sides by minus 3 over 4y I can say 0 is less than x minus 1 squared plus y squared plus 3 quarter y okay so this is writing from with respect to miss from the left hand side if I write this this is x minus 1 squared plus y squared plus 3 quarter y so I hope you can see the pattern this is developing to be a equation of a circle that's right okay so this I want to use the completing square method to write the equation of the circle so this is x minus 1 squared plus 3 y sorry y squared plus 3 quarter y now I'll leave a space here and write a zero so what number should come here to make it a complete square so well I can say I'll do the half of th 3 quarter the half of 3 quarter is 3 eighths so this will be 3 eighths squared so if I add 3 eighths squared to this side I would add 3 eighths squared to this side so this has become a perfect square I'll use a different color from here 
So this becomes x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 8 the whole squared is greater than or equal to 3 8 squared. So here this is, if you, uh, if you take a circle, so this can be written as two parts. So this is x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 8 squared is great is equal to 3 8 squared that is nothing but the equation of a circle and you can also write x minus 1 squared plus y minus 3 8 squared is greater than 3 8 squared so this can be written as so this is nothing but the equation of a circle okay so now this is a circle okay with center with center I hope you know that's 1 comma minus 3 eighths and a radius of 3 eighths so now we want to sketch this these two situations I'm going to draw a circle I'm going to draw two axes say this is my y axis and this is my x axis so yeah, I'm going to draw a special scale, say this is 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8, 5 8, 6 8, 7 8, 8 8, which is your 1. So this is your 1 8, and this is uh, 8 8, 9 8, 10 8, 11 8. I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, this is 4 8. I'll also draw 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 4 8. Now I'll explain why I'm drawing like this. So I, wa I want to draw a circle with center negative 1, sorry, center 1, this is 1, this is 1, or this is also 8 8. So center 1 and this is negative sorry this is negative 4 8 this is negative 1 8 so the circle is center 1 uh, 1 comma minus 3 8 so this is 1 comma 3 8 will come here okay so this is your center this is 1 so let me draw a, a radius so this is this is I'll try to do as good as possible so this is 3 8 so this is your center and I want to draw a circle so I'll try to draw a circle using the circle too okay so yeah this is your circle okay so I'm not good doing good uh, justice to it so I'll try to make this a bit bigger okay okay so yeah, this is a circle with center. This is center 1 comma negative 3 eighths. And this is a radius of 3 eighths. So this is this point. This point is, is of course not drawn to scale. From 8 eighths you go 3. That is, this is minus 3. So this will be 11 eighths comma minus 3 8 I hope you can see it's not drawn to scale and so this is a circle okay of radius 3 8 so we want to sketch the graph of these two situations so we have sketched this and all the area which is greater than this is minus 1 so how will we express so this situation this is all the area which is more than this so i'll use a shading like this so this is we're talking about this area so you have to sketch this not anything inside the circle so this is greater than 3 8 so this area is if you take any point here that will satisfy the second situation okay but there's a catch here now z should not be one z is not 1. I hope you can see why z should not be 1 because 
if you simplify this, this is 4 times z minus 1. Now, if z is 1, the denominator becomes 0. So, this is very important. So, this has to be a whole year. Okay, so you have to draw a whole year. So, 1 is not included in the function or in the sketching. So, that is, that is specific. Uh, you have to show clearly that this is, this point is not included, which is 1. So, if you do this, this is a scholarship ex or excellence question of NCA. Okay, so this is, so again, this is the circle. So, circle is included and this is the area which is outside the circle because it is greater than that. So, you've got two uh, part of this function of sketching. One is a circle which does not include one and all the area which is outside this circle. 